The nuts on tour, rolling in the motor home, moving town to town, never feel alone. Hi, I'm Mark. Hi, I'm Sue. And together we are Nuts, nuts on, on tour. tour. Along with Big Dog here and Little Girl, Girl sat over, over there, there. Look, looking out the window. We're like a books in between two bookends, aren't yeah, we? Yeah, definitely a You can't a see them though, unfortunately. Oh, that's it. <laughs> that's it. She's just moved into the driver's just seat. Just got on the driver's seat. And she she pushes, likes bouncing up and down on the driver's seat. If she pushes the uh, steering lock, she'll sound the horn. This is, I was say, she's unbelievable. She really is. <laughs> Hold on. Let me... Uh, and I said here, watching you. There you are. I'll put that in. I'll put that in. So, we haven't been away this week. So, this week, you've got the last two of the vehicle uh, reviews that I did while we were at Lincoln in Newark, which is a... Uh, Carthago, got to get this right, Carthago Chic E-Line 51 QB DA. I think that's right. Oh, she's back again. And how many people can remember that? Yes. <laughs> and the other one was a Swift Vesica, but I can't remember the number for that one. Just okay. a Swift Vesica. So we're doing that. And then the other one is... It's a little bit of a product review, but only a little bit of a one. Something we bought because we've got the we've got the satellite dish on the roof, and we've now got Starlink. But we wanted something so that if we went away, uh, we were just stopping overnight. Yeah, overnight somewhere, and we didn't want to get Starlink out and put that on the roof and yada yada yada. And it's and too that, windy for the satellite. Uh, too windy for the satellite, or we're under trees because we have had that in several <laughs> yeah. places that we go to, yeah. or there's farm buildings in the way, or whatever. Then uh, we wanted one of the seen these little stick on aerials, just like a flat. Well, you'll see it in the vid, but yeah. uh, what do you think to it? Brilliant. I mean, it works a treat on the telly in the bedrooms because, yep. I mean, the, the, for some reason in this particular motorhome, the telly in the bedroom and the telly in the lounge were linked. So what you were watching in the lounge, well, you, had... you had to watch yeah. if you were in the bedroom. You couldn't change it. So we discombobulated the bit that was linking them up. So that needed its own aerial. So we, I just stick it, blue tack it to the, to the window, works a treat. Huh? Um, so much so, we've got another two that we use in the house. That we use in the house. One's mm. in the, the bedroom and one's in the kitchen. Yeah, that we work, use. Work very well, they do. Yes. So, anyway. For what? Well, they twenty quid if that. Yeah, I shall put the Amazon link to it below, so you can see what they is. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But uh, yeah, they do work. Yeah. On with the vid. Enjoy. Okay, this is the contents of said box. We have, I believe it's something crazy, it's like 17 metres of cable. Is it 17? It can't be 17 metres, that doesn't look like 17 metres. I'm just trying to see where it says, and I can't see it, but hey-ho. Sticky pads, or replacement sticky pads. And then... USB aerial that drives it. Five meter cable. Five. Five meter. And destruction book. You can have it uh, on the walls, behind the telly. Don't think that'll work. And stick it on a window. And you can stick it, but I actually tend to put a bit of blue tack on these and blue tack it now if it was going up in the skylight which is possibly where it will end up it'll probably go up there and we'll shut the fly screen and that'll keep it there and other places actually as you can see on top of our shelves we've got the light thing is possibly slide it in there but uh, next challenge is to attach it to the telly five pounds short of two hundred and nine thousand 
you get this Carthago Chic E-Line. Again, 8.7 meter, it's a tag axle. This is brand new. Automatic. One of the things I like about this, nice big wide step. It's on a Mercedes, tag axle. A lift up garage rather than a door, but with gas struts. There you go. Lift up, a huge garage, plenty of room in there for your tyke. Your, sorry, your trike, your bike. Even stick the kids in there. Ooh. Inside, you've got a whole range of your switches to turn your lights, your inside, your power, your, your step. And it's a gas strut door, so none of your door sling, swinging literally it opens and closes on a soft close inside you've got three seater against a two seater a round table and then two seater on this side pilot and co-pilot seat huge screen sat nav and radio music etc and then the Mercedes wheel with all the controls on the wheel. So in the kitchen area, we have a sink, of course. Yeah. Nice, uh, nice tap with the pull down. Yeah. Behind that, you've got a, a light and I think that's a plug socket. Yeah. yeah. Three pin plug socket and then on this side cupboards above nice shaped door on that one yeah and uh, I presume that's for this their slimline coffee maker that slides up into the cupboard and you get the two little espresso cups and a cappuccino cup on the top there above me we have there you go the uh, the X Bel Air, and then uh, three burner hob with a split lid, so you can ah uh, you split that, but that one won't go all the way back with that down. Something worth noting. And then underneath you have controls. Mm -hmm. Get the camera to recenter. There you have the controls up there and your grill and cooker down there on the other side you've got the fridge and freezer with cupboard above this one's says on it slide out storage so we shall uh, there you go how's that pretty impressive so you've got slide out storage all there for you I think that's wide enough to take a tin and your spices and food very nice and on the drawer side you've got cutlery and small plates cups and mugs maybe and then the next one down a little deeper still full ex nice full extension drawers that come all the way out and then the bottom one will be a pan no bottom one's a thin one maybe plates and things in that one and then same on that one nice soft oh they're all soft clothes as well yeah nice touch moving into the bathroom and bedroom area you've got your shower with a wrap round timbre door yeah, nice big shower yeah. you've got the I believe that's a slider no that's not a slide oh I know what that is there you go yeah that's to put that across then you have your wow now that's a set of mirrors and a half there you go how about that hello and your toilet and basin 
plenty of storage in there and then behind you have queen size bed wardrobe either side and drawers underneath so you have cupboards either side and two full size drawers for either your bedding or fold up clothes or what have you very 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 well thought out and at the back we have another full size garage again plenty of plenty of space back there little alcove there you've got your outside shower there 12 volt 16 amp on a euro that's not a, a british one that's a euro supply so a 12 volt 16 amp euro supply 240 volt 240 volts i presume that we've got that down battery center so you've got all your all your info and your charging there and your fuses behind that you've got a what looks like a Dometic inverter for your power supply and then your battery main isolation switch absolutely huge garage and above that you've got your Thule or Thule however you want to pronounce it your Thule wind out awning it has got the facility for a wind out and at the back this is a 5-1 QB queen bed you've got lovely eye level top level uh, brake lights they're not on LEDs which is quite surprising they're on bulbs and then your plate the Merc badge and I presume that's a pull off panel for your uh, tow bar and your tow bar electrics one very 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 nice piece of kit on this side you've got that's your bedroom window chic e-line security glass and your lockers on this side so here we are on the Glossop motorhome motor caravan site uh, they have a Swift, this is uh, in their sale, it's been reduced now to 60,900, it's on a Fiat Ducato, and this is the Bessica, I'm not sure what model it is, see if they've got a spec sheet on this side, no, oh well, have a look. There is your Thetford cassette and access to some quite shallow some shelves. At the back we've got twin cameras and twin cameras at the top and rails for a bike rack. And down this side space through so there's no big garage with this one everything has to go inside so looking inside the Bessica this has got a lowered step so there's no push out step on this one there's no hydraulic step you're at a low step so it's oh it is a little high for some but yeah that's good There you are, you've got a two-seater, well, maybe three small people, but a two-seater bench seat on one side. That might be classed as a three if that's classed as a two. Two-seater bench seat on that side. There's your table. You have two belted seats on that side. You have your twist and turn pilot and co-pilot seats. It's on a Fiat chassis, so you have a Fiat engine there's the Fiat steering wheel, exactly the same as ours. Literally exactly the same as ours. 
you've got a different radio in this one but yeah there's your radio and it's on an automatic i think that's a six speed automatic box i believe and then cup holders at the bottom and usb charging points and 12 volt charging points but automatic gearbox and then up there is your screen for your rear view camera that big sunlight i don't pan up for that they are big hakey lifting sun sunroof sunlight up there down this side we have two cupboards here nice solid locking yeah double split shelf inside yeah nice and solid not going to fall out of them yeah same on that side and then into the kitchen area whoa and there's a step yeah <laughs> that's me falling down the step again yeah in that one and that one yeah there's your solar controller for your battery microwave above and then coming down the level you've got light switches and two plug sockets 240 240 volt or UK plug sockets coming down again you've got your sink and your tap prep area three burner and one electric plate on a Dometic and then separate grill that looks brand new and oven and that looks brand new yeah whoever it was didn't cook a lot of meals pulling that one open you've got in there yeah shelving a draining board on this side above you've got cupboard with your TV pointing yeah and then oh, now nah, not don't want to break that not sure how that one opens and then through to the back you have twin beds either side big dressing mirror hello and through to the back which is the back the whole of the back is turn that on uh, the whole of your back is your shower and bathroom so yeah and sink storage underneath standard Thetford cassette heated towel rail there you are here don't know if you can see that i have to get right round the corner and there isn't room for the camera to pan and tilt to do that you've got your shower up and your rail up there if that's as high as it goes that's as high as it goes which is only about five foot so for me if i want to wet my hair i've got to kneel down all right there we go and then on this side lights looking forward you've got your switches and storage space either side hanging rails and hang your clothes up in there lovely van the only downside for me is the shower would only do me from sort of shoulder down if i wanted to wet my hair etc i'd have to either bend right over or kneel down or get a seat or have an outside shower yay not happening but uh, for 60,900 yep it will do somebody a nice piece of kit before we go there's your base for your smoke alarm there's the fire angel and carbon monoxide your aldi wet heating your fresh water dump your wastewater dump not sure that one it could be your power 
and your see if you can get that and your control panel I'm not sure on that one if that's internet ready and it talks to itself and all that well I haven't seen a spec sheet for that so I'm not sure you'd have to ask other than that lovely van well hope you enjoyed the video Z Z <laughs> three of them yeah okay. not not Uggins and Uggins but uh, like I said we we haven't been away this week and uh, we thought we'd we, we always try and put something out even if it's a, a couple of weeks old or whatever yeah just so you've got something to watch and next week on Wednesday, Wednesday yeah next week on Wednesday is our questions and answers video vid for the so uh, van other van other collective collective another collaboration collective yeah. so uh, yeah ring you know what to do do the subscribe bit and do the notification bit that way when it comes out you'll get told that it's out yes till then see you in the next one bye to fill in the air true with the open sky so blue